All right, hopefully this works. I've never used a gadget like this microphone. Oh God. <clears throat> Sorry, it's legs. But I thought I'd try something different uh, in today's video. Uh, I want to show you guys this machine that I bought last week, I think, uh, when I was sick. Uh, I've been spamming the hell out of this machine. It is a lot of fun. And frankly, for somebody like me that's had a love-hate relationship with, with stretching, this is exactly what I need. It's always a reminder. I can uh, shift it anywhere in the house. It's really portable. It's usually in front of the... Uh, the TV in the other the main room but I've got it in the rumpus room today to show you guys uh, basically it stretches your adductors really really well I'm here three minimum of three times a day uh, and the whole idea is is that it's, it's kind of like the the good girl machine in that it spreads your legs and in the good girl machine you squeeze the machine in this one it just basically is something that stretches you and uh, I have really really poor mobility uh, in my adductors and this is why I think I struggle with wide stand squats why I struggle with sumos uh, so I thought this would be a good investment um, into my journey and uh, I fall in love with it uh, frankly I am here a lot so anytime I'm with the kids, with, with the family, watching a show or a movie or whatever, this is my seat and I just sit here and I just crank it. So usually I come on and I crank this uh, to like a, you know, a, an area where it's kind of, okay, I'm feeling it here. And I just sit here for five minutes. Uh, and after five minutes, I uh, back off a little bit, you know, reverse the wheel. Uh, rest for an X amount of time and then I go further rest a little bit more go further and it's surprising how quickly you can actually gain mobility or gain flexibility I guess this is uh, because it's just sheer amount of time uh, I was initially skeptical about static stretching uh, because everyone in the industry everyone online says the static stretching is the worst type of stretching to do but uh, if you look at many areas, many disciplines uh, of physical performance, there's a lot of static stretching and a lot of effective static stretching. So I think it can be a method used, uh, especially like somebody like me who spends a lot, a lot of time squatting. The adductors are always getting absolutely smashed, absolutely smashed, which is one of the reasons why I've set the target of doing the middle splits rather than the front splits purely because I use these muscles a lot more than anything else. Uh, this is probably the most sore muscle that I get uh, when I squat uh, and I'm really sore right now. Yeah, so yesterday I did the 100 reps with 100 kilos, sore glutes, sore adductors, a little bit of quads. And so this feels freaking amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, oh, so this is this is feeling great. I wish these pads were a little bit longer so my whole lower leg was rested. Uh, this is a little bit, I don't know, too short for me. But regardless, it does the job and it will do the job because uh, the main area it's stretching is here. And I like the fact that the knee is being supported. Like if this pad was this same size. And it was further down the leg and it was just kind of on the calf there will be let's say a torque placed on the knee so I'm, I'm happy that the knee is being supported with this thing i just wish the whole thing was longer so the the lower leg was also supported uh but i'm loving it i did this before i went to the gym today i'll show you some of the footage of the gym i came in i was really really sore uh worked up to 120 front squat uh, i spent like five minutes squatting if that and then I went over to do chest and back. Uh, I haven't done chest and back together in a long, long time, but I got inspired to try it uh, after seeing that documentary by Arnold. He 
he used to do that so i thought oh well, let's let's mix it up why not and so i did two exercises for each area so i did uh, i started off with a rowing uh, machine a chest supported row i did that for five working sets i think i had two 20s on each arm and then i went over to the bench press i did wide bench uh, then i went and did pullovers and then i finished up with some pec flies on the machine and that was the day so today was a very very light day uh, to make up for what i did yesterday with the squats but i, uh, I attacked the upper body and uh, the best feeling of all is that i still get satisfied uh, very very satisfied what i'm doing for the legs because of this stretching so you know generally speaking when i have these light days with squats i would usually kind of feel pretty kind of unfulfilled like oh, i haven't done anything in the gym i don't get that sensation of man you worked really hard like i did yesterday that was great you know, mentally i love that uh but today there's no way i can do that I'm, I'm that sore but i can get you know get in here in this machine and i can crank out you know 15 minute uh, episodes 15 minute sessions throughout the day you know as soon as I get up I come here spend five or ten minutes doing this then I go about my day whatever whenever I have a spare five minutes I jump on here and I and I, and I get on it um, and this is what I do man I just sit here and I just play with the wheel work on those adductors and time flies and usually you know with this wheel that's in front of me I usually put my phone in there and I watch some YouTube or I watch a documentary I watch something uh, and so I can, it's basically like a couch for me. You know, I can literally do something else while stretching. That's what I love about this. Whereas normal stretching, I don't know. Maybe I'm, you know, not thinking about this the right way, but I don't love stretching. You know, I'm not somebody that looks forward to stretching. And so when I have a device like this that makes it easier to get into these stretches, makes it easier to load the stretches. So it's not just being restricted by the position or my tight uh, 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 hamstrings or my tight lower back or whatever the case might be this is really really comfortable the back is supported i just jump on here and i crank on this thing and earlier today i got quite pretty good progress like i remember when i first started my, my legs were at 90 degrees now i don't know how many degrees this is but it's greater than 90 degrees um, and i'm only just getting started like usually after 15 20 minutes especially at night when i have a bit more time the kids are running around here, playing around, you know, drawing pictures and whatever. And I'm in here sitting around with them, but I am putting in some real valuable work with this, with this machine. And, and one of the things that I do with it is I, I lean forward a little bit. That kind of gets, I don't know, a little bit more hamstrings, I suppose, and a different, uh, different, I guess, angle for the adductors, different fibers. And I do this. For a little while i can grab underneath here on the on the padding you know pull myself forward and then when i come back i feel like i've gained a little bit more i do this for a little a few reps and i feel like i can inch my way out out and out and and so you know i'm so confident that this is working that you know frankly i feel like i can see myself doing splits down the road uh, simply by what i've experienced in the first week now i don't think i'll be getting splits in the, in the first month obviously it will probably take quite a long time but i feel like if you grease the groove with this and you spend i don't know three four five five minute blocks ten minute blocks throughout the day greasing the groove for stretching is excellent man it's excellent it's exactly what what the whole greasing the groove method is all about is just you're kind of like tickling yourself into progress you're not smashing yourself um you're just kind of i don't know practicing your way into the splits the other thing that i do with this machine because of these pads i mean it's not the, the sturdiest of machines out there i mean this whole thing was 200 dollars delivered i know there's uh, machines out there that have to go they got up to like a thousand bucks two thousand bucks uh you can actually squeeze and do a bit of pnf stretching so pnf stands for proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation basically means while in a stretch you can apply some pressure with the muscle that you're stretching and so for me it's like putting pressure into these pads 
and essentially using the muscle which is being stretched at end range using it activating contracting it and then you do that a few times you can hold it a little bit i mean i'm not doing huge number one i don't want to break the machine but i'm not putting a huge amount of load through those muscles just a little bit just to kind of engage you know the nerves uh and then i can go a little bit more oh i wanted to make the video about this machine the moment i got it uh but i thought you know what let me let me spend some time with it let me uh let me get a feel for it uh and uh, after a week of using it, man, I'm like, I can't, I can't hold this to myself. I have to share it with you guys. Now, th th does it mean that you need to get one of these machines? Whatever. Uh, depends on your goals, I guess. But uh, whenever I get excited about something, you guys know that I share it with you. Uh, and this is one of these things. I'm freaking excited by this. And not just physically, like I feel like I'm getting progress with, with the stretching, with the mobility and the flexibility. But also I feel like it's, doing wonders for me mentally and i keep saying mentally like i'm freaking mentally deranged but training you know the effect of training is not just physical it's also mental for me you know the endorphins that get released after you've challenged yourself physically that's a big big part of why i train every single day and so this does that for me it provides this mental mental stimulation endorphins are being released and so for instance like right now like I'm battling, all I gotta do now is just go back. And as I'm going back, this is, I feel like where the endorphins are released. Oh my God. You can just feel all that length kind of returning. And my God, my back, my hips are growing, obviously, like through here, the hip flexes. Oh. Legit feel hard, man. I legit feel hard from doing this. Uh, it's a great feeling, man. It's a great feeling. And I know for a fact that I didn't have this machine, I wouldn't be stretching this much. I mean, I, I cannot remember the last time I spent so many hours per week stretching like this. It just feels amazing. It's almost like, you know, when you see the NBA players, I mean, I watch a lot of NBA and I watch, started watching English Premier League again uh, this morning. It's like when you're watching the professional guys get stretched. I always used to see that and think to myself, man, I wish I had a guy that stretches me. You know, I wish I had a guy that would just hold me into these positions. And Because the thing about stretching is like, it's a freaking workout, right? Like you have to, I don't know, it's uncomfortable. You know, it's kind of like yoga. You got to hold positions and whatever. I think this is why a lot of us have this love-hate relationship with it because it's uncomfortable, especially if you're a powerlifter. Most of your time, you're, you're uncomfortable for like less than five seconds if you're doing singles, doubles, triples. You know, that's usually what, what people do. Uh, I guess bodybuilders and marathon runners, they would be uh, more inclined to do this type of thing because they're always in the hurt locker, man. Like, you know, if you're doing bodybuilding and drop setting and doing that kind of thing, you're used to like long durations of discomfort and being in a hurt locker. See now, as I go back up, like I feel like I have so much more length um, and I can really, really load into it. Oh, like that's amazing. man! It's amazing. And for some reason, every time I do this, it doesn't go long before I think about Rob Van Dam and <laughs> all these guys that are super, super flexible. I don't know, man. I think it's really cool to see guys that are flexible. I know when you see girls and, and, and scrawny little guys that are flexible, like, you know, okay, no worries. It's, it's not as impressive as you see somebody who is strong, into martial arts, who is an athlete. You know, like, I, I feel like that really is attractive to me. When you see, uh, I don't know, a soccer player, a basketball player, a UFC, MMA guy, uh, and you see the flexibility with that, like, it's really cool. Djokovic, I spoke about Djokovic in a previous video. That guy to me is hell impressive, man. So impressive the way he does. This for him is like not even a stretch, man. He's like out here, you know. Um, oh. oh, man, it's so good. There's definitely endorphins associated with this, definitely. 
like it feels so good and it's not just the adductors it's my freaking lower back after i get up from you know doing five ten minutes of this i'll get up and i'll walk away and i feel like my anterior pelvic tilt has improved ever so slightly i'm walking with this like I don't know, like this freeness, like my, my stride, like the back leg of walking, I feel like I can send it back more. And so, you know, walking becomes more effortless, as weird as that sounds. It, you don't really know how bound up you are until you start stretching. And then you see, wow, okay, is this how normally people feel like when they walk? When you're always bound up and like stiff, man, you don't even know how bad you got it until you release and once you release you're like jesus this is amazing man it's almost like you're high um so i'll go back now a little bit uh, just a little just to give me that bit of respite Maybe a little bit more. Just to get a bit of blood in there, I suppose. Get that tissue breathing a little bit. And um, and then we go back. You know, I, well, I said to you guys, I reckon when I first started doing this, I was at 90 degrees. Is this 90 degrees? Something like that. Maybe even less. I was at 90 degrees, I remember. I remember this was like a hell of a stretch. Now, in a week, I've made a lot of progress. Now, if, if you do a mental, take a picture of this mentally, and then you go. So this is like a week worth of progress. So this is where it was. I, I took a mental. Man. Static stretching for the win. I'm telling you, man, this is this is really, really good. I feel like I'm getting a little bit addicted to stretching. So, and I never thought this was going to be the case, but I, I, I'm legit um, getting high from it. I'm getting that endorphin feeling that you get when you squat and you deadlift, which is, uh, I feel like a big, 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 uh, sign you know when it comes to anything if you have that mental connection if you have that physical connection with something it's not just oh I want to get from A to B it's no no I enjoy doing this I feel good when I do this those are the things that make you stick around and then you know the progress is a byproduct of that but if, if you have something you know some endorphin some good positive energy that comes keeps you coming back now that's that's where you know you're onto something. Um, and I feel like this to me, is, it's like, I get high from it, man. I feel like I'm sitting here doing drugs. <laughs> Not that I've ever done freaking drugs, but see again, it's getting real uncomfortable now. Like I feel like it's letting go, letting go, letting go. And see now, oh, oh man. Such a simple piece of equipment. And uh, so many benefits. So this is, uh, you know, I've changed a little bit when it comes to uh, spending. Um, you know, YouTube last year, the year before, I was living from it, not 100% obviously, but it was enough to drop a shift or two. And so I was kind of incorporating that uh, money into my salary, nursing salary, I was living off it. Now YouTube is completely slowed down. And so now I'm like, you know what? YouTube money to the side, everything that I earn from YouTube to the side, when it builds up a little bit, I'll get something like this. Get something which is gonna make me better at training, make me better at making content like this little microphone that I got today. You know, everything that I earn, I'm gonna put back into YouTube. Everything that I, that I earn from, 
from the viewership from you guys i'll put it back exactly where you guys see it uh, i'm done with relying on it i've been done it uh, relying on it this whole year um the money is not insignificant but it's you, you can't rely on it it's too up and down it's just not enough so it's purely a hobby and whatever the money earns whatever the money that i earn from it i'm gonna try and you know buy things like this obviously i can't buy crazy freaking equipment you know but this is $200 and my lord, even if it was $1,000, it would be a freaking good buy. Good buy. And now, as we build up again, and you know what the funny thing about this is? So, I might be wrong when it comes to this, but I feel like the glutes get inhibited by tight adductors. So adductors obviously adduct the leg and they also have like a huge role in hip extension and hip flexion depending on the, 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 the positioning of your torso and your hip angle and where you are. So if you have really long adductors like in this position, like if you really, really get yourself length through here, I feel as though your glutes become less inhibited when this is longer and so yesterday i did squats obviously a hundred of them and today i've woken up with really really sore glutes and i'm wondering to myself is that because my adductors are now longer after a week of smashing the hell out of them stretching them and now my glutes are more likely and, and less restricted to actually exert force on the hip because the opposite muscle the adductors are not I'm not resisting it. So I'm, I'm thinking about it this way uh, because after a little while, after like I, once I've finished with a particular session of, of stretching, I get up and I feel like my anterior pelvic tilt is, is better. So I'm more neutral with the pelvis and I feel like my glutes are easier to contract. So that's something that I found out. So if you are in an anterior pelvic tilt, you probably have really, really shitty length in your adductors. And this is probably something that you should consider. I mean, you don't have to buy the machine. You can do this against the wall or whatever, you, you know, you do you. Uh, for me, I, like I said, stretching is not fun. And so this makes it fun and makes it more likely for me to come do it. And it's a seat as well. Like I, can, like I said, you know, I can put it in front of this TV in the rumpus room. Or I can go inside the main room, plonk it down, watch a movie with the kiddies. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a seat. It's comfortable. Like I'm not on the floor. Anyway, lots and lots of good stuff. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but you can see that I've probably been here for 10 minutes at least. Just uh, stretching, stretching away, feeling it. As soon as I start to feel like a sharp discomfort, I just release it. Release it. <laughs> Catch all those endorphins rushing in. Ooh. And after I get high off the endorphins, go back up. And this is it, man. When Ivan's not making videos, working, now I'm at home and I've got some time to myself. I'm probably here with the kids. I mean, the kids are not in the room right now, but they'll be playing around with stuff. We're throwing the ball to each other. We're drawing, we're messing around. Um, they're trying to kick me off the machine so they have a go. I'm a little bit skeptical about leaving them with it because I feel like they can get hurt. Oh, and the other thing is this, this wheel can come out. Uh, <laughs> so I wanted my, my wife to try this machine, but she can't fit in because of the belly. Uh, but anyway, you need the wheel to actually make use the machine. But the, the idea is, I guess, if you're really, really that inclined and you're that flexible, you can actually bend forward. Like if you had a weight or something or something to grab onto, you could kind of uh, get the wheel out of the way. A little bit more. Have I got a little bit more in me? Oh. Now, I'm pretty sure if you go crazy with this, you could probably freaking tear something. Um, you could probably tear something. But this is where you have to be honest with yourself. And this is where you have to uh, work with it and make sure you don't damage yourself. Um, 
Now, one thing that crosses my mind often when, I, when I'm doing this is, does all of this stretching make, oh, see, I'm getting that sharp pain. I think I'm done now. One thing that I um, always think about is all this stretching through the adductors, is this actually making me weaker because I'm taking the adductors into like extreme lengths? Um, oh, oh, God, that is so good. Oof. Even just going back now to normal. Oh, my God. Oh, that is so good, man. So this is the fourth session of the day now not all of my sessions are, are this long like tomorrow morning when i wake up whatever at 5 45 in the morning i'll come out here oh i'm so everywhere man i will um come out here spend five minutes ten minutes with a with a, a bottle of water down the water while i'm doing this get ready and go to work beautiful man i love the like anytime i can do stuff like train multiple times a day i'm happy i want to train often and i want it to be accessible this is so accessible i'm not in the way of the kids i'm not in the way of my wife i can look after the baby the newborn i can have my newborn right here while doing this i love that love that aspect calisthenics push-ups pull-ups pull-ups less kind of accessible but anything like that i love it I absolutely love it because the, the mental release, the endorphins, the, uh, the, 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 the sensation of like I'm progressing, all of that, man, it's freaking amazing. I love that. And this is what this does for me. Um, grease in the groove, stretching. You gotta love it. All right, boys, I don't even know how, if this is gonna work. Hopefully it's worked. If it hasn't, it's a glorious waste of time. Well, not a waste of time, but talking was a waste. Um, anyway hope you enjoyed the video i hope you uh you enjoyed the idea of, of stretching i am very excited to stretch now and I, I really wanted to share it with you guys because uh this is what i do at least three times a day even when i'm working I'll, I'll do one in the morning or whenever the shift is i'll do one after the shift and uh I'll, I'll fit it in another time before sleep or something like that i love this anyway guys hope you enjoyed it hope it's giving you some ideas <laughs> so ass legs alright guys catch you in the next one peace out